you guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing a video showing you guys how to do a crystal nail this time instead of doing um, the gold I mean the red, the crystal ABs, I am going to be doing a gold one for you guys. So some stones I did want to try out are these. And I did notice I haven't made a video about how to put on these larger stones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. This is what these ones look like. These are kind of like a cat eye one. Um, and then these ones are just rectang rectangle ones. So I kind of wanted to show you guys... Um, different designs that you could do with that um, and so I am just going to be using one of these tips to show you guys and I so the first thing that I am going to be doing is I am going to be getting this Cleopatra from Tracy's Nails and I am going to be using this to do a coat on top of here And so I am just going to get a little flat brush like this and then I'm going to go ahead and put a nice coat over it. You could pretty much use any um, gold that you are going to be using with the, the crystals or whatever one that you feel like goes with your design best just because I know that... Um, with certain things like it or with certain colors like it might look off if you were to use this one so kind of just use your personal preference like of what you think would look good with the set that you are doing and this tip that i'm using it is um one from the the EC basket nails by or nails by Gaga. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the light for 30 seconds. I'm gonna move this gel away from the light just so it doesn't end up curing it. And with this gel, I might have to do a few coats. Okay, now that that's done, I am gonna go ahead and apply a few more coats, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because it might take a little while just um, and you guys kind of get the gist of it. I'm just going to be painting it on. Alright, and I'll be right back. Okay, next I'm going to be using this UV finish gel. And this is from Mia Secret. Okay, and then this is going to go into the light once again. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It, this, um, the Cleopatra from... Tracy Nails, honestly, it is such a pretty, pretty color. So these are also my first time using these stones. Um, I had opened these ones, but I still have yet to use them. I think I'm just going to pull a couple of these out. And... Okay, so usually with the bigger stones, I'll just pull a couple of them out. And then after, I'm going to go ahead and pull these ones out as well. Um, I feel like these do match these ones really, really well. I feel like they're pretty much this, or they are the same color. So the resin that I'm going to be using is from Montage. It's uh, Stones and Charms. You're able to put with both of these. And so I'm going to be using this and I am going to be using um, this also. Um, it does have a wax tip. If you feel like your wax tips are getting dry at the ends, what I like to do is like rub that little piece off or like scratch it on my desk and it will be able to like come back real quick. So you won't have to worry about like feeling like as if you need a new one. So... Um, I'm just going to place some, of. Uh, I'm going to get a good amount of glue and kind of hover it over just so I could allow a good amount of glue to go on there. Okay. 
And I like to do that for these bigger stones just to make sure that they stay on there because that's the last thing you want is for them to be coming off. Ooh. The only thing about big stones is I feel like instead of applying them with that, you do need some tweezers. So I am definitely already liking the way this looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to put this on the nails. It looks so pretty. I don't know if you guys have seen those butterfly nails, but I feel like to do a set with these would be so pretty. Like just because it has a like perfect shape in the center, like... And then like to put wings on the side or something. I feel like that would look really, really cool. If you guys would want to see a video on that, on me trying to attempt something like that, please leave a comment down below and we could get that done for you. Okay, and then let's try putting a square one on. Um, this will be like my first time actually using a square stone. So again, if you guys see how much glue I'm putting on there, I'm putting on... A pretty good amount you could kind of see it just because with the stones it will be filled in the gaps and if you do get glue on your stones just make sure to wipe off the thing that you are using just so you don't end up um, leaving marks on top of the stone and you could just use the back of this to kind of like push it wherever you want but I think I like the way that looks um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put stones around it. If you feel like there is any gaps, because usually with like actual acrylic nails, there will be gaps right here just because that's like the apex of the nail. So I'll have like that's the strongest part. So it usually goes a little further up right here in this area. So you would want to go ahead and go back and put glue underneath this part and then this part just to make sure that it is down and it is not gonna go anywhere. And cause of course you want them to stay on until your clients come back. And then I always like to put smaller stones around these nails just, or around these stones just because with the smaller ones it kinda helps support it and make sure that they stay on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these and you see that this um, little thing, or like the pencil, it kind of picks up the stones a lot easier than what a tweezer would do. So that's why I like to use this for the smaller stones. I thought it was going to be able to pick up the bigger stones, but I think the new head, I do think I need another one of those. Okay, so I like this to kind of be like more symmetrical. So... I'm going to try to make sure I have enough room to do basically the same exact thing on the other side. And then with this, I don't usually use as much, or I don't use as much glue as I use for the bigger stones just because you don't need it. I mean, I put enough glue so then this the stones kind of have a little bit to sink into, but not completely. And then if the stones, you pick them up upside down on accident, just put them down on the paper towel and it will allow you to pick them up over again. And so with this one, I don't feel like I was able to put in the center, so I'm going to try to squish it more over. And then put it in the center. See how pretty that looks? Even just like that, honestly, I feel like it looks so beautiful. I would... Personally, I would probably, if I did a set, I would probably just leave it like that. Just add some more down at the bottom right here. But I would probably put a different, um, a different base underneath it. Like I would probably put a solid polish and not the color that I have already on here. Okay. 
Okay, so now I am just going to try and fill in the rest right here. Okay, you could see that it's kind of getting hot. Let me move some of this stuff because the camera is like having trouble focusing. Even if you guys wanted, you guys could also even put chains in between these, like gold chains I feel like would look super, super pretty on these nails. Okay, so that's what it looks like. If you guys have smaller stones, um, I would go ahead and put some right there just to fill in those gaps. Or another thing that I like to do is if you guys have larger glitter, you could also put it right there if you don't have big enough stones. And then even when you add more glue, you could even lightly run up up against the stones that are already there, just so it kind of gives a little bit more security to the stone, or it could, so it could secure the stone a little bit more without having to put glue over the stone, because that's the last thing you want to do if you put glue over the stone. Um, me personally, I do not like the way it looks just because when you do do that, I feel like it ends up losing the shine from the stone. Alright, you guys, and this is what the stone looks like. I wish I had some bigger ones to add right here and on the sides right here, just so it could give it more, um, I don't know, just a little bit more to it. But this is kind of just how you put down bigger or larger stones. And another thing I like to do is to go ahead and go back with this gel right here. And then I like to get, and then I like to get a dotting tool. So I get a very, very small dotting tool, like the smallest that you have. And then I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of gel on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go around the edges of this. And that'll make sure all the stones on the side, they don't end up coming off. Okay, so now that I secured the stones on the side, I'm going to go ahead and go around the top. And then even some of the stones, I'll go in between those. Again, I am going in between them. I'm not going on top of the stones because if you go on top of the stones, you'll end up losing a lot of your shine. And once you do that, the stones, they just don't look um, like they should. Okay, so now that I am done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cure it. And this is a no wipe gel, so you guys don't have to worry about making sure you're wiping in between every stone, just because I know that could kind of be a little tedious if you guys are doing that. So yeah, that one is not a, 
a our to wipe it and then the next thing we are going to be using is this nail gel resin activator so the next thing that we are going to be using is this nail gel resin activator um, what this does is basically cures the gel once you spray this on there all those stones that um, you have on there in like any anything that you had put on it it basically it'll end up curing it so all you really need is one spray of that if you feel like you need a couple of sprays go ahead and spray more on this is what the nail looks like go ahead and comment below and let me know you what you guys think about it i feel like maybe next time i would definitely gap these a little bit more or just add bigger stones around it just to give it um just to give it a little bit more definition and just to ha so it has a little bit more movement to it just instead of having it the center and these stones are pretty much all the same size on the end so I feel like that's something that I would change too if you guys feel like there's other things that um that you guys would recommend for this nail go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you guys think um, another thing that I had wanted to let you guys know is that I am starting an online shop and if you guys would like to see how I am doing that just because for me I this is my first time ever doing an online shop so it is something that is very very hard for me to do but is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time so I'm basically teaching myself how to do everything um which that is it is really really hard um but if you guys want me to document that so then i could later on show you guys how i did it and basically how i got my store up and running go ahead and comment down below and i'll go ahead and start recording everything that i'm doing right now so then i could show you guys and maybe even be some inspiration to you guys and yeah, so if you guys would like to see that, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye.